Storms are normal for this time of year, but Kiron looks like a wild one. You can trace its origins back to huge temperature extremes over North America, with Canada below freezing and the southern United States basking in highs over 30 degrees. That accelerated the high altitude winds of the jet stream to around 200 miles an hour, a turbulent mass of energy that fueled the developing storm. On Wednesday afternoon, Kieran broke away and barreled towards the UK, the air pressure in its centre dropping rapidly, a process called explosive cyclogenesis, a weather bomb. The strongest winds be along the southern edge. In northwest France, there could even be a rare sting jet where cold air from the upper atmosphere plunges to the ground, whipping winds up to more than 100 miles an hour. The UK is on the edge of the worst winds. From dawn on Thursday, Pembrokeshire, Devon and Cornwall can expect winds of 75 to 85 miles an hour on the coast, slightly lower inland. Later in the morning and into the afternoon, counties further up the Channel coast can expect winds of 70 to 80 miles an hour. Even inland, winds of 60 miles an hour are possible. That's likely to damage buildings, uproot trees and cause widespread disruption to transport. But it's not just the wind, it's the rain. In southern England and Wales, there could be 20 to 30 millimetres, around an inch, but as much as 60 millimetres or two and a half inches in some spots. In North Wales and the southern Pennines, there could be up to 80 millimetres, Northern Ireland up to 40 and North East England and Eastern Scotland up to 80 millimetres in parts. All that rain is falling on ground that can't hold any more water. Much of the UK was wetter than average through October. Parts had record rainfall for the month. So there's a risk of more significant flooding. Karen finally moves away as we go into the weekend. But the next storm looks like it could be close behind.